students, my friends. Today we are doing something a little bit different. I am doing a collaboration with one of my friends. Her name is Brandy Mayotte. We are going to be doing a mixed media challenge. Our theme is Hocus Pocus. This is personally my favorite Halloween movie. We will be doing it on a 12 by 12 canvas board. Um, I will have her channel linked below, um, so please watch her video and subscribe to her channel. I know you want to. I know you want to. So I bet you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this costume. Well, that's quite obvious. I am dressed up because I love a good thing. Well, I am dressed like my favorite character from the movie Hocus Pocus. I am dressed as Sarah Sanderson. And the reason I picked Sarah is because we have so much in common. We are both slutty airheads. Beautiful! Boys would love me! I thought maybe I'd do something fun and tell you and tell you some fun facts about the movie Hocus Pocus. So my first fact about Hocus Pocus. So Bette Medler said it was her favorite movie she has ever filmed. Another fun fact is that Rosie O'Donnell was actually offered the part of Mary Sanderson. Wouldn't that have been crazy instead of Kathy McGee? I mean, that would have been insane. Another fun fact is that Hocus Pocus actually didn't do well when it was released. It didn't do well in the box office at all. It has since then um, picked up traction over the years and become um, a cult favorite. The original name for the movie was actually supposed to be Disney's Halloween House. And it was supposed to be a Disney Channel original movie. I mean, could you imagine if that would have been just on a Disney Channel and the name would have been Hocus Pocus and it would have been Halloween House? That would have been even lamer than Hocus Pocus. Leonardo DiCaprio was actually cast and offered the part of Max in that film, but he ended up turning it down to play What's Eating Gilbert Grape was the movie he was shooting at the exact same time. Uh, that would have completely changed the direction of his his career because I'm pretty sure that I have no idea where the original Max is right now so that could have been Leo and that would have been crazy. It was released in July of 1993. I mean who goes see a Halloween movie in the middle of the summer? Obviously not very many people because it did not do well in the box office. And my last fun fact is that Binks was actually played by nine different cats. Even though the cat seems like animatronic the entire time, it was actually in fact played by um, a real cat or nine real cats. So those are my fun facts. Um, and now we can get into this spooky Halloween inspired tutorial of Hocus Pocus and it will be mixed media. So if you like this picture right here, please keep watching. And P.S. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And please, if you really, really enjoyed it, please try to recreate this. It's not really a tutorial as so much as um, I'm just gonna kind of show you how to do this. So please, if you like this, um, tag me on one of my social medias. Uh, I, have, I have a Facebook group and I also have a Facebook fan page. It's at Love Cray Paint and I will have that linked below. So I have an Instagram, it's at Love Cray Paint and also my Twitter. So if you recreate this or I mean if you just want to do the challenge and do your own take on it, that would be awesome too. If you could tag me in that, I'd really appreciate it. And I will have all the materials and everything I use um, listed below. So without further ado, please keep watching. And we will get into the video. It'll be super awesome. Don't know why I'm singing. Ooh. So thanks for meeting me back at the canvas. I'm just gonna explain to you what materials we're gonna need and what paint colors we're gonna need. So I have this 12 by 12 canvas paper here. I've already traced my circle. I just used I just used uh, like a four inch bowl in the center of the 12 by 12 canvas. And this is the um, test painting I did. So this is what we're going to be copying or working from. It's not gonna be exact, but 
That's because I have a couple fun surprises. Okay, so the brushes that we're gonna be using, um, I'm gonna be using an eight inch filbert, and that's going to be to do the moon, and then the um, blue around the moon, or the, the sky. And then also, you might need something like, you don't have to use these, you don't have to use these exact brushes, but um, I'm going to be most likely using this uh, for this number four liner brush uh, to do the detail work. Number five flat brush. And I think that's pretty much the only brushes I might use um, this Simply Simmons. This is the three eighths brush. I will have all of the um, brushes and paint and other materials that we're going to be using below. We'll also, uh, I'm also going to be using these uh, acrylic paint markers to be doing some of the outlining and detail work. I got these from um, Target, they're the Handmade Modern. So I will also be using this gloss fluid medium, primary yellow, permanent red, crimson red, Burnt Umber, Mars Black and Permanent Black, Phthalo Blue, Titanium White. You will also need a glue gun, and obviously glue sticks and or craft glue or your choice of glue. also need something uh, like cardboard that you can cut into. You also need some paper that you can fold and put inside the book because we're going to be making our book of spells, but we're actually going to make a real little book of spells and glue it to our 12 by 12 uh, little canvas paper here so you can actually open it and close it and it's going to be so adorable since this is a mixed media challenge. We'll need a paper towel and that we'll be using for the texture on our book and you will also be needing um, Mod Podge for the book itself to put the paper towel on it. Uh, we will be working on the poster itself first then we will be doing the little tiny book of spells. Thank you for joining me once again, and let's get into our project.
It's gonna be spooky. I gotta stop. I sound like I was singing the duck tails. Woo! Okay. Okay. Hi guys. See you in a little bit. Why do I keep bending down? I'm a tiny little person. I just want to like sing that song. <laughs> Remember that part where she's like on her broom and she's singing and she's like, thing is blowing. Um, I'm just gonna explain to you how we're gonna do this and. Um, <laughs> Apparently Eli likes My Little Pony. Okay, Mac, you're not getting that. You're not having that apple. No. <laughs> I don't think so. You're already fat enough. I am doing a hello, Dolly. Uh, la 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 la. Step like Sarah Sanderson. Sanderson. And my thing just came off. <laughs> 